The Apex Copper Coast Retreats um, bring a lot to families that are experiencing cancer and we wanted families to be able to come here and have um, a break away from um, their, their treatment or their cancer journey and to be able to just forget about all of that and really create some precious positive family memories. So when we built the cabins back in 2014, they were roughly $200,000 a cabin. Um, and where do we come up with $200,000 is a very good question. And we actually ourselves for a long time had a dream to build these, but didn't have the capital to do so. The Posty Bike Ride has given us that opportunity to raise funds over many years. So the money's raised many different ways, but each rider that signs up to come on the ride needs us to raise $500 for the course, and the course is the Apex Copper Coast Retreats. Some people raise $500, some people raise $1,000, some people raise $3,000, some people raise $14,000, don't you Andrew Benny? How people do it is, is up to themselves. They raise funds by asking friends, people being touched with cancer, their families that have had cancer, their uncles, their aunties. Some people approach businesses, some people hold events just to raise funds to come to the course. So to date, we've almost raised a million dollars with our Posty Bike Ride over 11 years. The riders love the ride, we love the ride, and they run these funds for us to build this wonderful project here in the Rollerroo Tourist Park. The, uh, the park's a lovely spot for the retreats. Um, location's great because we're right on North Beach, so we've got, a, in my opinion, the best beach in South Australia, if not Australia. Um, and we're only metres from the beach within this retreat, so the perfect location for everything you want in a beach holiday. So the Posty Bike Ride, what a unique event it is. As daft as it sounds to ride a posty bike through the Flinders Ranges for four days, it has absolutely worked and people have had the time of their life. 2008 we had seven riders, 2008 we went to 28, then we went to 30, then we went to 50, then we went to 70. In the 10th year we had over 100 riders. Some people have done it for all 11, some people have done 10, some people have done one and gone, I'm never coming back again. So everyone enjoys the ride in different aspects and enjoys different parts of it but it's just the most fun four days. And, you know, we started with Apexians, uh, big fat old bastards that would fall off and hurt themselves. Realised I couldn't ride anymore. And now we, we target motorbike riders who have a hoot up there for four days. People just keep coming back again and again. The camaraderie, the mateship, the um, people that have never met each other, that have one common um, interest, which is, is motorbikes. And, People that are keen on motorbikes, or blokes and women that are keen on motorbikes, all seem to have um, a, a similar um, sense in purpose. The riders have made lifelong friends through the ride, people that they would never have known previously. So the future of the ride, who knows? We thought it would have been dead and buried five years ago, but every year we get about 20 new riders I don't know where it's going to finish. I think we'll finish when the committee gets burnt out and can't organise it. But at the moment, we love doing it and enjoying it. Our writers do amazing job fundraising for um, this event. And um, while they have a great time, they work really, really hard. And it's really hard on their bodies and, and on, on their bikes. And if you're approached to, to make a donation, this is this is what that donation um, is all about. It's about changing families' lives um, and um, supporting um, like families in our community.